Ready, go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Biafra Nation. Unam the Kano's family lambasted Buhari's presidency after UK government did this to IPO. Biafra Nation. Unam the Kano's family lambasted Buhari's presidency after UK government did this to IPO. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. It is no secret that Unamdekano supporters and IPOB were thrown on their head after it was rumored by various news media that the government of the United Kingdom had designated the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB as a terrorist organization, like the Nigerian government did a few years ago. But there has been some clarification over the issue as it has been revealed that the United Kingdom did not, in fact, designate IPOB as a terrorist organization, but acknowledged that the Nigerian government had designated it as a terrorist organization and violent group and that those associated with them and seeking asylum to the UK should be properly investigated by the respective authorities. With the rumors spreading that the British government had in fact designated IPOB as a terrorist and violent group, Garbo Shehu Media Aid, to the president Muhammadu Buhari would jump the gun and they called the decision of the UK government a welcome idea leading to the family of Vunam de Kano to lambast him after the British High Commission in Abu Jalad refuted the claims. Prince Emmanuel Kanu brought out to the embattled IPOB leader an interview with Vanguard, who would lambast the Buhari's presidency for celebrating what he termed as fake news. According to him, it goes to show the mindset of the government towards Biafra. He noted that the president might not even be aware of the overzealousness of his spokesman would, would churn out press statement without authorization. Nigerians would throw up in their numbers. To the statement of Unamde Kano's brother, with one person writing that it is good that the UKI Commission Nigeria debunked the false information that the Buhari government wanted to spread against peaceful organizations like IPOB. A second person added that the only solution to Nigeria problem is a referendum. Let people decide where they want to belong because Nigeria is never created in the interest of a black person and Nigeria now to save lives. While it all stated that, wow, what a good news. What about the indigenous people of Biafra? May God continue to vindicate you, my brothers. Victory shall be yours and ours very soon. Yoruba Nation now, Biafra Republic now. A fourth opined that. So where did the where did the news came from? that UK have prescribed IPOB as a terrorist group. Let it not be what I'm thinking. That's what that was happening in Southeast is sponsored with this news 
the prescribed didn't prescribe unahi ikeguru and the fifth wrote that only a fool wouldn't see the end of nigerian government and southeast desperate politicians in unknown gunmen it is an attempt to give a dog to give dog a bad name to kill it they wanted the people to rise against IPOB and also for international community to prescribe them so it will be so it will be one of the legal Antony to Unam de Kanu. If Yanye Jiofo would reveal in a statement that all the United Kingdom did was in fact make reference to the fact that IPOB had been designated as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian government. If you are in a geo for stated that for clarity the government of the united kingdom has not designated the ipob as a terrorist organization rather reference was made to the prescription of the organization in nigeria and also the anius crimes being perpetrated by some dissidents in the southeast which said crimes are totally condemnable and have nothing whatsoever to do with the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, which is a peaceful, non-violent self-determination group. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP remains a lawful and peaceful movement. It would also go on to review that the IPOB legal team would be attempting to persuade the British government to recant its position on the issue of IPOB status in the upcoming days. Nigerians would also react to Infiani Geofor's statement, with one person writing that it was obvious in the report that the UK government did not designate IPOB a terrorist organization. But the Nigerian press, who are themselves paid agents of the terrorist Fulani led government, ran with a fake report in desperation to the public. So, my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your views.